In, in that day, they shall war against them like the wind, sea, and if they look unto the end, behold, the darkness and sorrow, the light is dark in the heavens. Oh. It's, so it's so funny. It's so funny. I can't believe you read so much. It said dude. it's boring. I love you, Lucky. Bye, Duke. Chelsea Piers, Connecticut, one of the coolest gyms on the East Coast. It really is pretty amazing. Here's a little known, well, here's a surprise. No one knows really, but now the world does. Um, I'm working on a TV show, and uh, I need to drop 10 pounds really quick. Um, well, I've always needed to, I'm sure, but now especially, you know, uh, look good for the camera. So, major cable network. And how something like this comes about. So I've been working on, you know, trying to find a way to get outsized exposure, recognition for me and the company, you know, kind of one and the same uh, for years. And I've, you know, done various things. I mean, since, of course, uh, the show on Fox in 20, 2005 that I won, <laughs> million dollar investment, Richard Branson's The Rebel Billionaire. Uh, if you don't know that story, then you don't know me. But, um, you know, 10 years since, sort of off and on, thought about God, how, you know, I felt the power of exposure from national TV. How can I get some more of that for this brand? Uh, Love Sack. And so I cooked up my own TV shows, pitched them through various production companies, um, had them pitched to actual cable networks and, and, and networks and the like. Um, I've also got an agent, so Abrams Artists in New York City, right, there's a bunch of talent agencies, and uh, every now and then, every couple months or so, they'll send me um, some Skype link for some sort of uh, interview for some sort of audition for this or that TV show or, um, I don't know, project or whatever, and uh, I'm quote unquote talent. <laughs> and so, um, nothing's stuck, nothing's happened, gotten callbacks for a few. In the meantime, of course, focused on building the company, growing Love Sack. And then uh, this year, just a few months back, got a call, another one, just another Skype interview for one of these uh, shows looking for a host. In this case, sometimes it's a panel, sometimes it's other shows that have been copycats to like um, Shark Tank where they've wanted me to invest in companies. This is an actual hosting gig. Uh, for a major cable network that you definitely recognize and um, I think that it's going to be Pretty legitimate, but it's not uh, You know, it's not in series yet. It's not even actually a pilot It's what's called a presentation which is where we make like a mini episode for the network to look at and review And if they like it then you know it could get picked up into a series Good news is unlike a lot of these shows that I pitched in the past where you know, it's been a production company's idea or even my idea, this is actually the network's uh, backed presentation, which means it's got a high likelihood of succeeding. So I gotta drop 10 pounds quick. And uh, so what I'm doing is, you know, I've, I, I, I've dropped 10, 15 pounds at a whack before, and uh, here's what I'm doing. No carbs at all. Well, you know, the occasional one bite of ice cream kind of thing, but. More or less, no carbs other than, you know, green green leafy vegetables. Um, just uh, no carb diet, workout at least every other day. Um, I'm going to do more weights this time. So typically I just do tons of cardio, like an hour, two hours, 10,000 plus steps, you know, a day at least. Um, I'm going for 10,000 steps a day just in general, moving about, walking around. But I'm going to do a lot more weight training. I'm doing one heavy upper, one heavy core and one heavy leg exercise. Get the biggest muscle groups in my body uh, ripped, you know, torn, uh, sore, 
lack, uh, you know, lactose burn, um, that is lactic acid burn, you know, every other day and, and through the recovery, hopefully that burns a lot of calories as, as those muscles recover. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. Hopefully drop a quick 10. I'll let you know. I'm, I started off at, uh, 186. I'm down to 182 already. And actually I'm looking to get down below 174. So do it with me. So popping into New York City today to meet uh, with my biz partner, Jack. Um, he's flying out of Chicago tomorrow. Is annual operating plan kickoff in Chicago as well as Los Angeles later this week as well as a grand opening in San Francisco. But uh, today we're interviewing a candidate for a random position and just uh, no time to meet in the office and all over the place. Welcome to my life. By the way, let me introduce you to like one of my favorite devices on the planet. It is this thing, right? My RAV power, and the reason I love this battery from my phone, because I'm always killing my phone batteries, right? Even though I carry two phones, is it has the cord built in, look at that. So I never have to go looking for my iPhone cord or whatever, it's just in my bag. And it doubles as my wall charger, because it has the plug built in. Amazing device. Here we go. Directly out of Grand Central. Look who's here! What's up, man? What's going on? All right, Nate Zubal, we just had a great lunch. We're going to meet my buddy Josh Takeman, who we've met before on the vlog. Talk about some more connections. Sounds good. I don't know. It's a good day. It's Always warm. down the rabbit hole <laughs> with these guys. So, so by the way, Nate is, uh, I think you were on the vlog once, uh -huh. a fantastic entrepreneur in his own right. He's built a company called McLean and Zubal. McLean and Zubal! <laughs> this is Nate Zubal yeah, of McLean and Zubal. And um, they uh, are about to launch their first, their yeah. breakout Next line week. of uh, modest. High-end designer modest high -end dresses. Designer modest dresses. Anyway, really great stuff, really tasteful stuff for the working woman, for the woman on the go, for the, 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 the want it all, have it all kind of girl. Needs to look her best. Yeah, That's it's right. about confidence. Nate's a fashion guru and, uh, <laughs> and an amazing entrepreneur. So check it out, McLean and Zubal. Yeah, we're online. And uh, keep track of these guys. It sounds good. So our next meeting is at the Equinox Cafe, which I've never been to, it's strange. What's stranger is that there's blood on the front of their advertisement. It makes me uncomfortable. Look at this guy. What is this place? It smells sweat. All right, Josh, what are we doing? We're here on the mean streets of New York, figuring out how to divide and conquer the world. <laughs> Enough said. Isn't that how you do it? That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Only in New York, though. This shit doesn't happen in Stanford, Connecticut. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. I imagine it'd be different if I had to come in here every day like so many people in my in my ward or church do to work, but um, I just never grow tired of Grand Central Station and New York in general. It's like, it's just so cool. So much going on. By the way, so I have to be back here in 24 hours, but in 12 hours, I need to be on a plane to Chicago. So I'm going to Chicago in the morning to do our annual operating plan kickoff where we take the whole Midwestern zone of Lovesack and kick off the year, talk about our plans for the year. Um, we like to run the company super transparently and bring in, you know, down, you know, to the retail employees even exactly what our marketing plans, the whole, the whole, the whole plan. And we kick that off tomorrow in Chicago and then we've got LA after that two days later. But right after the Chicago event, I have to be back here in New York City to teach my class. So it's going to be a busy 24 hours. Oh, and then of course, straight to Los Angeles. Uh, and then uh, for AOP out there and then San Francisco after that for a grand opening of our first downtown location in San Francisco, California. Can't wait. Stopped to Home Depot to get some wood glue and a big drill bit to help Lucky build her art project before I blow out of town for the rest of the week. And now I'm at REI to buy a tent pole. What the heck is going on in my life? 
Howdy. Hi. Do you guys sell lone tent poles? No. No? I have like um, tent reinforcers if your temple broke. But Ooh, we don't have like can you show me that? Individual tent. So there's this really cool team building exercise we're going to do in each of our stops for the annual operating plan kickoff. But I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want any love sackers preparing. Duke, what did you make us? Is this a I present? I put a marble in it and it melted. Hey, hey dad. Pepper, what's Daddy. wrong? Daddy. What happened? Come here, baby, come here. This is what is that? I put a marble in there, it was in the gym, and it melted. It. Can I see? I love it. Does it hold other marbles? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Wow. I bring them home because I love to play with marbles. She said we can bring them home. What are we building? The Ferris wheel. What for? Um, an art show. Tell me about your vision for this Ferris wheel. Well, we'll have a flat board. Pepper, stop. We'll have a flat board. Thanks, Valentine. We're going to cut triangles out. And we're going we're to we're gonna cut out two triangles and glue them to this board. And, and then we'll put one of those circle things on two sides. Then we'll hold in them. And... We'll glue them on and we'll stick this, well, I mean, we'll, first we'll put the Ferris wheel on and then we'll stick the stick inside and then we'll hang wires on the Ferris wheel sides and put the Easter eggs on. We'll put a hole on the Easter eggs. I love it. Let's do it. Okay, how did you cut these out? What did you use? Do you remember? We used the micro box. The miter box. Miter box. That's right. You did a good job. Together, all right. Okay, who are all these guys? That's a lot. Can you put them in there? Because I know they're close. Mom, don't give me any other books. All right, let's see first. 10 p.m., and now we can start the work day. Typical. Make it all the way to bed before I get the chance to even crack open my email inbox and get anything done. But, uh, look, a lot of things cooking for Love Sack. Crazy days. Tomorrow I'm up early and out to Chicago for an annual operating plan kickoff event. And um, no two days are alike. I feel blessed.